one would be of interest to many modellers, especially as Edward is supposed to be producing it in 148 scale. Uh, mule. So, Messerschmitt 109G, fitted with a Jumo engine and huge paddle blades. One of two we have here at uh, Kepley. The second one is a bit further along, I'll come to that in a minute, but there she is, two seater. Crammed in also, not a Stormvik, but an IL-10. Now, bear in mind that the Czech Republic is a landlocked country. It's about as far from the sea as you can get. So rather unexpected is this sour cloud. It's the only existing one. Uh, it was actually being used as a houseboat on the river uh, after it's used by Czech Airlines. OK, now we're moving on to the more modern side, uh, the jet side of the hangar. Uh, here you'll see quite a few interesting little bits and bobs. Behind these doors though, if you look on Google Earth, there is a whole load of MiG-15 and MiG-21s. Uh, unfortunately, they're on the military base, you can't photograph them, which is a bit of a shame. But have a look on Google Earth for Kebley and uh, have a look at what's on the other side of these doors. It's quite interesting. One thing they're not short here is uh, albatrosses. As you saw in the scrapyard, there's about five or six out there. There's a couple in here. But this is the L159 prototype. Uh, this is a single seat attack fighter, though this one's got the two seat canopy uh, that is in use by the one squadron of the Czech Air Force currently. So here we have a MiG-19 and a Yak-23. Again, MiG-19 is very common. I think there's about eight or nine on display here. We'll see a few later outside. That's a Mil-2 again. There's a few of them. This is a police one. And MiG-23. And a MiG-27 cockpit. Very claustrophobic internally, this one. MiG-21 cockpit. And a bit of albatross. More MiG 17s, 21s, 19s, they're all here. 
in mass quantities. Here's an early MiG 21F. Who said drones are new? VU 030 Sochka. It's a reconnaissance aircraft. And then this big boy, the SoyQ SU7. You really do need to step back from this one, it is massive. Uh, we'll see the later versions later outside. They've got some 22s as well, but this is a SoyQ7. Another Albatross. Uh, Civil SI204, or AVSE2. Or French Martinique. This is actually a French Martinique. It's the only one uh, in existence. Uh, it has been backdated to make it check in appearance, though it is actually a French aircraft. This is quite interesting. Uh, Focke Wolf 190 engine pod, unrestored. So these are the original colours that you see on this. Uh, it was found in a garage. So it's quite interesting because it is in unrestored condition. Obviously, the colourings have weathered with age. Next to it, a Soyuz pod. Uh, the Czechs did have an astronaut, and this is the Soyuz 23 that he was sent to space in, and his spacesuit is inside. I'm not sure if it will pick up through the glass. Uh, mounted high up, uh, L29 Delphine. You say the Roof space is absolutely packed, mostly gliders, but they do use every part of this space. They really do need another hangar. And I, I'm just amazed this museum is free. Uh, I wish they'd charge for it so they could afford to build the hangar. There is space for it, it's just they can't afford to put it up. This is the ejector seat from the SU-2. If you like your MiGs and Yaks and Soyqs, this is the place for you. There are more here crammed in than you would ever believe possible. Uh, here we have a MiG 19PM. Uh, Yak 23. Uh, Mil 2 Hoplite helicopter, civilian one. MiG 23. And next to it, 27 cockpit. MiG-21 cockpit behind it, an F version. That's actually a MiG-15, not a 17. Uh, late Mark MiG-21 with the Constance pods fitted. I mean, look how crammed it in it is, it's ridiculous. Um, this is the MiG-17 now, PF. I mean, talk about just about getting it in there. MiG 21F. So Q SU7. There are some S U 22s outside the swing wing version. And then one of my types always reminds me of Thunderbirds, a uh, VR3 Regia, which is a drone in use from the 1960s through to, well, I believe it was 1990 before they finally went out of service. 